Well, based on what you guys are watching, I decided to do another kielbasa video. I made one of these back in April and it has really been popping off lately. Y'all are enjoying it. So I thought I would give you three more recipes using kielbasa sausage. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. In that last video, I think I was using Hillshire Farm kielbasa sausage and there were so many comments saying, yuck, don't use that. That's the worst one to use which I've always just used that, so I didn't know any different. So when I went to the grocery store this time, I found something that was different. My grocery store honestly did not have a huge selection. It was either Johnsonville, Hillshire Farm, there was one called Texas Smokehouse maybe, and then this one. It's Holmes Smokehouse. So I got this in the Polish kielbasa, and then I also got uh, beef. So the beef sausage. But for this first recipe, it is a very hearty recipe and it's using pretty much ingredients that you already have. It's rice and beans with kielbasa. Very simple, but it should be very flavorful. Let's get started. Totally forgot to hit record. I've got one sweet onion that I'm about to dice. The recipe doesn't call for it, but we're gonna add in some bell pepper. We're gonna saute that with it too. So I'm just gonna use my dicer to do both of them. That's done. That was quick and painless. Let's move on. Okay, this was the hardest part of it all was just chopping all of this up. I got smarter, worked smarter, not harder, and sliced it long ways in half first. So we're about to move over to the stovetop. Okay, I've got my large skillet. It is heating to medium high. I just put in about a tablespoon, maybe a little more than a tablespoon, of unsalted butter. I'm gonna also add in a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna let all of this heat up, melt, be right back. To go into our dish, we need some Italian seasonings and thyme is an Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna pull some thyme off of my garden. I'm gonna tell you more about this garden in a little bit, but I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. Okay, we have got our butter melted and everything is hot and ready to go. So let's add in our onion and our bell pepper. We're just gonna saute this for a few minutes, soften it up. Now that these are starting to soften, let's go ahead and add in our kielbasa our smoked sausage is what I'm using, the beef sausage. So now we'll let this hang out for another couple of minutes before we add in some garlic. Let's add in our garlic. These are nice and softened. It's starting to brown some of the sausage, so that's good. You can add in as much or as little garlic as you'd like. I'm gonna add in probably about, about a tablespoon or so. And let's just stir that around until it becomes fragrant. Okay, these are ready for our next step. So. Let's add in one cup of white rice. I'm using basmati rice. You can just use regular. We're gonna pour in two cups of chicken broth. And then I'm also gonna add in this can of pinto beans. I rinsed it a little bit, but honestly, this is the good kind of seasoned with pork. I don't mind what it's like packaged in. So let's add in our beans. I drained them and rinsed them just a tad. <laughs> so let's stir all of that and now let's add some seasonings okay we're gonna add in some fresh thyme because i have it on hand then we're gonna add some dried italian herb seasoning we're gonna be careful so that the lid does not come off because we all know that can happen and it has happened now the recipe says just a very small amount of the these seasonings but always 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 check out the comments section and I read where several people said they upped the seasonings just to give it a little more flavor. So that's why I'm going a little heavy with my seasonings. If you would like, you can add in crushed red pepper. We like a little bit of spice, so I'm gonna add some in, not a lot, but just enough to make us notice that there's a little something something. We can also throw in some salt and pepper. We don't need a lot of salt because my chicken broth was not low sodium, but I am gonna throw in a good bit of pepper because we love pepper. Okay, it's starting to do its thing. This smells so good, y'all. Oh my. Okay, it has come up to a boil. And then what we're gonna do is put a lid on it and we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low and let this simmer for a good 20 minutes. We just want our rice to cook. All right, Clemson Tigers. What this do you looks think? really good. It does look That's really good. That's what I think. I think it looks fantastic. It's got my favorite beans in it and I love kielbasa. Oh. It's very hot. Yeah, you might want to blow that off next time. My mouth is burned off. <laughs> <laughs> My tongue is burned. <laughs> don't you hate that it. when you burn the roof of your mouth and yes. like later on there's like a blister there? Yes. So that's probably going to happen. So, warning this food is dangerously hot. 
<laughs> okay, so blow it off and let's try again. Take try, two. Try we one ready? One more time. Take two. It's very like comfort food. Okay. You know? But hearty. Hearty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like really hearty. I get a little bit of the spice now and there. Okay, good. You just can't go wrong with kielbasa. No. I mean, the flavor just yeah. gets into everything well, and flavors all of the ingredients. And you got the bean flavor, you know, yeah. the pinto bean flavor, the kielbasa. All of it's in that rice. Mm -hmm. And that rice just soaks up all of that flavor and everything in there. Well, I have another question. What? Can you taste any of the like Italian seasonings? Yep, a little so, bit of the seasonings are okay. coming through. Okay. You know, it's not like overwhelmingly okay. powerful with okay. the seasonings. I know, little girl. I don't have any cheese. What's up with that? Huh? This is absolutely delicious. Mm. You need to try this. So simple ingredients you probably already have in your pantry mm -hmm. and in your fridge. And you could you could change this up. You could add whatever veggies you wanted. There's so many things you could do with this. So I love mm -hmm. this. Definitely recommend. So it's a go backer. It's a go backer. <laughs> he was singing a song in there. I was trying to catch it on camera, but go I missed backer. It. It's like one of those corny local commercials you get. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's a go backer. So, if you're local to the upstate, what is the corniest of all corny? What is it? I don't, you know what, you're, you're tracking, right? You're tracking. The furniture one? Huh? You're talking about the fur, furniture mm -hmm. one? Furniture liquidators will save you money! No! Not that one? Mattress Max. Oh, Mattress Max. <laughs> I thought it was furniture liquidator. No. <laughs> <laughs> You were Whoops. not packing. <laughs> Wait a minute, is Mattress Max not the same thing as Furniture Oh, it might be. I'm pretty sure Mattress Max was the guy over this. That, he, that's him. Okay. So, but he always said Mattress Max will save you money. Oh, and he was dressed he in a mattress. I yes. thought he said Furniture Liquidators. Maybe he did. I'm pretty don't know. sure he did. Maybe it was me that's wrong. But remember, he was in a mattress. <laughs> He, he legit was wearing a mattress and he said mattress max I mean all I gotta say is it might be corny but it's brilliant it is brilliant advertising. because here we are years later yeah. still remembering it I mean if Vaguely. you want a mattress you go to furniture liquidators because they will save, save you money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Just hopping in here really quickly to thank Garden for sponsoring today's video. We've had our garden for a couple of months now and we really love it. I don't have a green thumb and it, I've kept it alive and it is thriving. Did you know that grocery store produce can lose up to 50% of the nutritional value? So by harvesting fresh produce with Garden, you get maximum nutritional value and it makes it really easy to integrate fresh produce into your everyday. So when you get your garden shipped to you, you put it together. It is pretty easy to put together. Not only does it come with instructions, but it also has videos that you can watch for a step-by-step -step assembling your garden. You get to choose what fruits, vegetables, herbs, and or flowers that you want. They have over 60 to choose from. Garden carefully selects organic, locally sourced, and non-GMO seeds for diverse, high-quality produce. Once you set it up, you put enough water in the base and you utilize their app. With your garden membership, you have an AI assistant named Kelby, and it uses the advanced sensors and cameras to keep tabs on your plants 24-7. And it will you. It will send you little notifications telling you what you need to do for your garden. How cool is that? So it's going to grow your garden using hydroponic technology and LED lights. And because of that, you're going to be using about 95% less water than you would in a traditional garden. I think it's really cool that I can go into my app and I can see my garden real time. So if we're out of town, I can check on my garden. Actually, if you're out of town, you can put it in vacation mode and it will adjust the lights and the watering schedule so that you have worry-free growth. We have really been enjoying the salads that we've made from it. And I have to say it is the freshest salad I have ever had. So be sure to check out Garden. You can unlock an exclusive offer if you use the link down in my description box. And you can start growing your own garden even though we're heading into winter. Are y'all ready for another kielbasa recipe? Because I'm ready to make one. This is quite simply just baked barbecue sausage. It only uses three ingredients, well, four ingredients counting the sausage. You probably already have them all on hand. And this is a quick way an easy way to get dinner served. Let's preheat the oven to 350. It doesn't get much easier. I've got this big bowl. We are going to use almost this entire thing of Sweet Baby Ray's because you need about two cups of um, barbecue sauce. 
Oh, oh, oh. Part of the um, paper from this fell in there. Okay, we good? We good, nope. Now we good? Are we good now? No, my goodness. We don't want no paper. Let me rinse this. Starting over, <laughs> I've got this large bowl. We're gonna use almost this entire thing of Sweet Baby Ray's. You need a couple of teaspoons of liquid smoke. I am gonna measure this. Oh, <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> I'm just really doing really great today. I mean, do y'all come here for the recipes or do you come here to see me act a fool and Steven act a fool? Or is it a combination of both? I hope it's a combination of both because I don't mind you watching me act a fool. Will you open? But I hope you're getting some recipes too, you know? There's two. Whew, a lot harder than it should have been. And now we're gonna throw in a little brown sugar, about a quarter cup. And now all we need to do is slice up our kielbasa sausage. I'm using one of the beef sausages that I got from that brand and the other one is actually a Polish kielbasa. You don't wanna slice them too thin, maybe a half an inch or so. I thought about cutting this recipe in half and then I remembered I live with two guys who love sausage. So yeah, even if we have leftovers, that's not a bad thing. They will definitely eat that. Okay, I'm gonna throw these over here into our sauce and then let's cut up the other one. We're gonna toss these around, get them all coated. Let me go grab a baking dish. I think the recipe said a nine by 13, but it also said two to three pounds of sausage. I have about two pounds. So mine is, I think 11 by seven. Sprayed it with a little nonstick spray and we're just going to dump this in. Y'all just gonna hang out? You don't wanna leave? No, no, help us. I wasn't even thinking I was filming that. You heard me act a fool. <sighs> and welcome to cooking with Mandy. I don't think I was supposed to mix the brown sugar throughout. I think I was just supposed to sprinkle it on top. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little extra on top. Not a ton because it's already got the brown sugar in there. Okay, that should be good. It's going in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Hey, so excited. It looks really good. It reminds me of like little Smokies, you know? Yeah. Throw the Smokies in, throw the barbecue sauce on top. Just right. appearances, right? Yes, yes. That's what it That's looks like. That's basically what this is, but it has some liquid smoke in there too. Oh, and so some brown sugar. Extra smoky. Mm -hmm. One of those meals is good any time of the year. Yeah. You know? And I mean, it's basic ingredients, so it's something you could throw basic. together really quickly. Yeah, you could throw this together and it's super duper delicious. Yep. And I just did Love one of those um, of Kraft mac and cheese, like the, I don't know, the one, not the regular one. The kind of elevated yeah. one. And the mac and cheese is going to go perfectly. I, that's I can't what wait I was to thinking. Some of that. Yeah. That's going to be really good. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that cheddar and that barbecue sauce. Right. We're going to have to get a little. little yeah, you can uh, get them together. A little extra bit. And then there. I made us a little salad too because yes. we're addicted to having salads from our garden. That is good. Mm. Well, happy oh, lunch. Oh wow. Yeah. Happy lunch. Happy, happy, happy. This is really good. Y'all, this is delicious. I mean, it's like having little smoky appetizers for lunch. It's meatier than the little smokies, so I enjoy that. It's heartier. Yeah. Hearty smoky har Smoky sausage, barbecue sauce mixed in with the cheese of the mm -hmm. mac and cheese. Put this one in your rotation for quick, easy dinner when you're in a hurry. I mean, you can throw this together and have it in the oven in less than five minutes, so it's a winner. Tonight, since it is rainy and kind of chilly, we are having soup. And we're going to be using that kielbasa. We are having mm. cheesy potato kielbasa soup. That sounds delicious. So we need finely diced onion. We need about half of an onion. That's therapeutic, isn't it? It is. Just like, mm -hmm. just like crush it. Boom. Yep. It's really nice. And then we've got two stalks of celery. I just washed these. Let's cut the ends off. This needs to be finely diced as well. And all the onions, carrots, and um, celery are gonna be going into the pot at the same time. So we can just leave it all in here. And then we've got two large carrots that we're gonna dice as well. All right, we've got our carrots, our celery, and our onion. I got a new peeler. Mine was getting, I'd had it for years and years. This one is really nice. It's so smooth. And as someone taught me, it has a really good pointy tip here. 
to kind of dig out any bad spots. So that's nice. So we got the spud stud cutting up the spuds. Oh yeah. He's just cutting them into like one inch chunks. We're gonna put them in this bowl and add some water so that they don't brown because we don't need them quite yet. Now he's going to slice this uh, kielbasa into like, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch slices. Okay, so I've got this large Dutch oven, a little bit of olive oil in there. This is on medium high heat and Steven's gonna add in our kielbasa and we're gonna cook this for five to six minutes. We'll stir it around, get it kind of brown and then we'll take it out. Okay, this has been cooking for, I don't know, four or five minutes, and we're gonna remove it now to this plate over here with paper towel on it. So there was still some fat behind from the kielbasa, but he wanted to add a little more olive oil. We're gonna add in all of our carrots, onion, and celery, and then we'll also add in a couple of cloves of minced garlic, and we're just gonna saute this for two, three minutes. So Steven's just gonna add in a little salt and pepper as this is cooking. So he's gonna add our garlic in. He's gonna stir that around and I'm gonna go grab our chicken broth. So now we're gonna add in four cups or a whole carton of chicken broth. And he's gonna scrape up that bottom as he's adding it because it's got lots of flavor there on the bottom of the pot. Once he adds that in, we need to also add in our potatoes. So I'm gonna drain those really quickly. Get that water off of there. We're gonna bring this up to a bowl and let it boil for about 15 minutes. You want your potatoes to get fork tender. What was that, Spud Stud? Mm. He said he wants to jump in there. <laughs> you goofy. <laughs> so this has come up to a bowl. So what we need to do is reduce the heat and cover it. We're gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes and we'll check it after that 15 minutes and make sure that they are fork tender. Ma'am. Say it's been a minute since I've seen the camera, but I know that if the camera's out, what does that mean, Gracie Lou? See, it means cheese. Potatoes are tender, so we're gonna add in our sausage. Steven's gonna stir that around, and then we're also gonna be adding in two cups of milk and some cheeses. You ready for some cheese? Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got two cups of shredded cheddar, and then about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. Okay, we're just gonna stir that in and we're gonna let it continue to cook just for another five to 10 minutes, just until all of that cheese melts and it warms through and then it will be time to eat. It looks creamy, it smells delicious. Wow, yes. Rainy day, warm or hot soup. Yeah. Warming your soul. Right. I love soup with uh, like a milk or a cream mm -hmm. in there with potatoes. Yes. It's like extra creamy. Yeah. And comforting yeah, you know absolutely and then you've got the the flavor of the kielbasa mm -hmm. that's why you don't have to add a lot of seasonings to this mm. because of that kielbasa it has so much flavoring already in it the potatoes are perfect texture this is so good and if you would prefer this to be more like a stew you could definitely do like a cornstarch slurry and add that in and thicken it up but steven and i prefer the soup version what is it we ain't got nothing for you. You already had cheese. Yeah. Lou. Say the older I get, the louder I get, y'all. That's right. Tell them. Yeah. If you have a favorite kielbasa sausage recipe that I have not shared yet, share it either in the comments below or you can always go to mandyinthemaking.com, scroll down and click on where it says subby supper. And you can put in your recipe and who knows, maybe I'll use it in my next sausage video. A big thank you again to Garden for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out the link below in the description box to go check out Garden. I will see you next time.